recently just got 2022 36.5 and in the release notes there was a mention of the battery health test that can be run using service mode so i'm going to go into service mode and then i'm going to go ahead and and uh, run that test now i did attempt to run it this morning uh, i was at 90 percent it told me that my battery was too high of state of charge so i went for a drive checked it again at 80 percent and at that point it told me that the battery needed to be less than 50 percent and it had to be plugged into a level two charger and what it was going to do was it was going to drain the battery to zero and then charge it back up to 100 percent and that it could take upwards of 24 hours so what i've decided to do is i went for a nice long drive i'm down at about 15 percent right now and so i'm going to go ahead and initialize this battery health test and just let it run for the rest of the day and if it takes overnight whatever but um I'm hoping to get a result from it. I'm not even sure exactly what it's gonna get. If you plan to do this, it's at your own risk. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my car in because it says it has to be plugged in. Okay, so my car is now plugged into my uh, mobile charger. It's a 1450, so I, that's considered a level two charger. And so let's go ahead and get started with this process. Okay, so my car is plugged in. You can see I'm at 15%. So to get into the service mode, you're going to, and again, uh, don't do what I'm doing. Go into software, and then you're going to hold down on the Model 3 for a few seconds. And then you enter the access code. It's service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, and press enter. So service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle. Are you sure you want to enable service mode? Caution, do not enable service mode on public roads unless there's a maintenance requirement to do so. So I'm gonna go enable. And so this brings up and it's bright red all around warnings and so what we can do now is we can go into battery and high voltage. And this shows off a pretty cool graph. Um, everything green, so that looks really good. And then all we're going to go ahead and do is click on health test. And so there's a warning here. And then how to authorize it, you need to hold the turn signal up so it's going to be trying to turn right you're going to press on the brake and the key for 10 seconds now i did it with my phone key so it worked but uh, i've put the key the card key in the right place as well so i'll press on the brake hold this up for 10 seconds and there it is it's unlocked and at this point we can close that window if we don't want to proceed but i actually do so i'm going to click on health test and so here, there's a warning. Before running this routine, state of charge must be below 50% and the vehicle must be plugged into a level two charger. Well, I'm plugged into my 1450. I believe that's considered a level two charger. I'm at 15%, so I meet both of those requirements. Test may take up to 24 hours. The high voltage battery will be discharged and then charged to full. Heat will be generated outside of the vehicle during this discharge. So I'm going to go ahead and go OK, because I'm just going to leave my car here and see what, what happens. I'm in my garage. OK, so my car is just going crazy. I hear fans running. It, it's probably trying to use up as much energy as possible. It's now going to try and run the battery down. So it's going to be making a lot of noise for a bit of time. OK, so I'm just going to let this run. Hopefully it's not too loud for you, but it's probably going to run for a while and then it's going to charge up the car and I'll, I'll, I'll come back in here um, in a while because it doesn't tell me anything. It's the next day here. We have uh, completed the battery test and I just want to show you the results, but let's just do a quick recap of what actually transpired. So yesterday I drained the battery down to 15% because 
initially when I went to go and run this test, uh, my battery was at too high a state of charge, and then it recommended that um, that to run this test, you have to be at 50%, and then you also had to be plugged into a level two charger. So I took care of that. I drained the battery down to 15%, and I'm in my garage uh, plugged into my 1450 mobile adapter. We anyway, started the test yesterday, and then it drained the battery down to 5%. Now my understanding was it was supposed to take it down to zero, but took it to 5%. And then it initiated the charging cycle and my car was set to 90%, but it actually charged uh, for just over around 13 hours. And that brought it up to 100% and then the charge ended. And so that's where we are right now. Uh, my car is at 100%. The test has now been completed. So we'll go ahead and take a look at those results. And I would like to say that uh, um, the information that's provided is not very helpful other than to give you a percentage number. It's kind of like the test that you would run when you have your iPhone. You can go into the battery health of your iPhone or your MacBook Pro and it'll just give you your batteries at 99% health. So what are the results of my battery here? So you can see down here um, my initial battery health was 100%, but after running this test, it's now 93%. So um, that's the information it provides. Uh, I'll run this test again in a year and see what that is. But the actual range, uh, the EPA range, which is different from the actual driving your car range, but the EPA range went from 572 kilometers when I initially bought my car. It's now 547, I believe. 547, it's like, um, but I don't really look at that. I just charge my car at home and I drive it. Um, this is just something that I look at. But anyway, I figured I'd run this test. Um, I haven't seen any YouTube videos on it. So I figured I'd run this test, save you guys the effort. It does require you to go into service mode um, and then run this test. You're gonna have to live without your car for up to 24 hours, uh, depending on the state of charge that you are, that you initiate this, this test. And that's why I ran it down to 15%, was to try and uh, cut that time down, because just the car doing whatever it is is not gonna be the same as driving 75 on the highway. Anyway, uh, I hope you found this video useful. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then ring that bell so you'll be notified when I create other videos. Again, thanks so much for watching this video.